Hi, this is Doug Klain with Westpax, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Westpax Fax Portal. All right, the first thing you're going to need is a Westpax account. If you don't have one of those, just head over to westpax.com, sign up for an account, and then come on back here with your username and password. All right, we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, the first thing you're going to see is faxes that have shown up. So we have three faxes here. I've already looked at these, so they're not bold. I can make them bold real fast here. Simulate and unread. Here we are. And you have your outbox. You have some usage information down here on the bottom left. We have our fax lines. If we have more than one fax line, you'll have a drop down here with those numbers. This gets us back to the beginning here. You have your contacts and then some settings. And we'll go into this here later. Let's just go ahead and look at a fax that showed up. Go ahead and open this up. It's the PDF file. It gets rendered. It's like a cover page here. And then we have a fax down here. Great. Um, some of the things we can do, you want to zoom in a little bit, you can. Zoom out. You can print the fax. You got some metadata over here on the right side. You can download it as a PDF. You want to email this to a colleague, just click that, type their email address in, and hit send. A West fax email will show up with the attachment on it. If you want to fax this to a colleague, put the fax number in here, header, subject, reference, and then a receipt if you like one. Hit send. There you go. Or you can delete this fax. The cool thing is it's tabs. So if you have multiple documents here, you want to open up. You just go back and forth between them. I want to close one. There you go. Great. Let's go look at the outbox. Yeah, it looks like here's some faxes that I'd sent already. If I want to see what was this fax that I sent, let's go ahead and double click this. Again, I can go take a look. I've got a cover page here and a fax document. Looks familiar. All right. Great. One of the cool features here is contacts. It's hard to remember all the contacts that you have, especially fax numbers. Um, so we go ahead and create a contact. If you have an organization that has a lot of different fax numbers and contacts, you can just do an import here. Download our template and you format it and then you upload it back to us. And then there you go. You have all your contacts right here, right now. We're going to go ahead and add a contact and I'll walk you through this. All you need is a first name, theoretically, but we're going to do ahead two here and a fax number so one one two there we go we'll just create a fake number here fine and now we want to assign the privacy level so it could be a global contact which is for the entire organization it can be public which means that it's just for this fax line or it can be private just to this user i'm going to save this just to me so i'm going to hit save it doesn't like my fax number there we go so let's add another digit there hit save there we are Great. Now, it's not a valid number, obviously, but we just go ahead and put that in there for now. Okay, cool. Let's talk about settings. I'm going to come back to these two here, but let's go look at your cover page designer. So this is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. It allows you to visually design the cover page. If you have more than one cover page, you'll see them here in the drop down. If you want to duplicate this and work on a new one, you just click duplicate. All right, this is the cover page name. We'll just leave this as main cover page. It's assigned to this particular fax line. You can assign it to your account, or you can assign it, if you have multiple numbers, you can assign it to different numbers. So each number can have its own cover page, which is great and convenient. And here are the fields that we're mapping. We have a company name field, which is West Fax. It's fine. We have the, let's see, the address block, which seems to be missing. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Hit save. And then what I'll do is go back and re-render. Okay, looks good. You have the logo, which we saw at the top, and we have the footer text, which is down here. If you have PHI or a legal disclaimer, you want to update that. Looks like we have a little piece of test there, so let's go ahead and clean that up. Easy enough. Hit save. And again, it will re render. And then we'll look down here. All good. Great. Cool. All right, so we've done that. Let's go ahead and send a fax. So we'll go back to our send fax button here. Now I could type a number in. Hit tab, numbers in there. Uh, that's fine if you have a number memorized, but most people you use your contacts and we've already done that. So let's go ahead and grab a contact here. This header will be what shows up on the top middle of the document. The subject is a metadata field that shows up on reports after the fact. The reference here is so when you get a confirmation email back saying this fax was sent, 
will include this reference code. So if there's an account number associated with this fax, we can go ahead and put that here. And then when you get a response email back saying that the fax have been sent, this account number will be in that subject. So you can organize and, and maintain receipts by whatever reference field you'd like. So it's very useful. We want to put our cover page on this. So we're going to go ahead and put that here and I'll show you these options in a second. Let's go ahead and browse for documents. I'm going to go ahead and find our fax document. Let's see faxes. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. There we are. And we'll go look at cover page options. I don't want to be called demo user. I'll change it to my name. And then I'll say this is the fax you asked for. Okay, perfect. Hit OK. Now at this point, we've got everything we need. We can just go ahead and send it. Sent. Great. Now if you want to check, make sure it got sent. There you go. You just go to the outbox. You can see that right now it's getting ready to dial. So there you are. A couple minutes. This will update and be marked as sent. Let's go look at the additional settings here. Okay, the account profile setting is you got your name here, you can set your email address, your billing email, phone number, etc. You have your username. If you want to change it, your password, you can do that here. Let's go to fax to email settings. All right, so email to fax, fax to email, pretty much interchangeable. What this means is you can send a fax via email as easy as sending an email. You don't have to come here at all. All you do is create a new email message. You put the fax number at westfax.com. So if your fax number is 111-222-3333, you just put that at westfax.com and you have an attachment or multiple attachments and you hit send. And what happens is, is it'll come to us. We'll look at the from address. If the from address matches the address in the sender's email here, we say, okay, great. Well, test five. We found them, we got a message from them. We're gonna go ahead and convert it to a fax and then send it off. And this little box here being checked means it's gonna get a receipt saying that we sent your fax all as well. You don't have to get a receipt if you don't want it, but most people want that. Okay. The inbound fax notification sounds exactly what it is and it is what that, that is what it is. You wanna get a notification when a fax comes in. So you just put an email address in here. Now, if you want the attachment as well, you check this box and you'll get a PDF in the email attachment. Now, a lot of medical organizations, HIPAA, they might not want that, so you uncheck that. That way you don't get that PDF and you have to come and log into the portal and get it. Okay, great. Okay, we've gone pretty much over everything here. If you have any additional questions, just reach out to us at 303-299-9329 or order at westfax.com and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day.